NC State kicked off the new millennium with a seasoned coaching staff that brings a combined 217 years of NCAA experience to Raleigh. Head coach Chuck Amato has been part of 11 ACC championship teams and has two national championship rings. Amato brings a fiery attitude to the NC State team. Under his guidance, the pack plays with emotion, with confidence. Most of all, they play hard every snap of the game. Amato hand-picked his coaching staff. He wanted experience and he wanted commitment. He got both. The staff is comprised of a former head coach, two offensive and defensive coordinators, three coaches that have NFL experience, and one coach who chose the Wolfpack over the Green Bay Packers and Brett Favre. Head coach Chuck Amato gives his pack offense a simple direction week after week. Pass the football. And quarterback sensation Phillip Rivers gets the message. In his knockout first season calling signals for NC State, Rivers won the ACC Rookie of the Week award nine times. And with 2,967 total yards, he finished the season 12th in the nation in total offense. Rivers cruised to the ACC Rookie of the Year award. With Ray Robinson winning top conference rookie honors in 98, and Corin Robinson taking the prize in 99, Rivers Award makes it a packed three-peat. Like any all-star quarterback, Rivers has a favorite target. 62 times this season, a Rivers pass found Corin Robinson. Last year's ACC Rookie of the Year winner, Robinson was the top receiver in the conference in 2000 with 1,061 receiving yards. Robinson also set a pack record this season when he logged 100 receiving yards in six straight games. Robinson is on pace to battle the legendary Torrey Holt as the most prolific receiver in NC State history. Buddy Green's return to NC State in 2000 sparked his defensive unit to hit hard, hit often, and attack the football. All-American linebacker LeVar Fisher did some flying of his own in 2000. The Bronco Nagurski finalist was the top knockdown artist in the country, leading the nation in both total tackles with 158 and in average tackles per game with 14.8. Fisher's backfield mate safety Adrian Wilson did his share of scaring opposing offenses. His 103 tackles was the third highest season total on the team, and his average of 10.4 tackles per game makes Wilson one of the most feared safeties in the conference. Fisher, Wilson, and the rest of the pack defense have made a statement. Offenses, beware. The Wolfpack will attack. The motto for NC State football in 2000 was finish, and they did that in a very big way in their first two games. Against Arkansas State, the pack ended regulation with a goal line stand that sent the game into overtime. The next week against Indiana, a fourth quarter scoring strike from Rivers to Robinson lifted Amato and company to its second straight win. Rivers dominated the field against the Hoosiers, throwing 31 pass completions for an ACC record-breaking total of 401 yards and five touchdowns. Seven days later, NC State took on the Yellow Jackets of Georgia Tech, and it was like deja vu all over again. The Pack started the fourth quarter against Tech on the losing end of the scoreboard, but the Pack had been there before and knew exactly what to do. Like clockwork, Rivers hit his targets. First, Corin Robinson on a six-yard touchdown pass that capped a 74-yard drive. And when a tie score at the end of the fourth quarter sent the game into overtime, Rivers and Robinson found magic again, this time for a 23-yard touchdown that sealed the game for NC State. The Wolfpack clinched their fourth consecutive win, taking the sting out of the Yellow Jackets. In college sports, neighbors make the greatest rivals, and in the world of football, there is no greater rivalry than the ongoing battle between NC State and the Tar Heels of North Carolina. At halftime, the pack led by seven, and any hopes Carolina had for a comeback were spoiled by a smart, tough defensive pack unit that slammed the door on the heels. By the end of the day, the State D had pinned Carolina runners behind the line of scrimmage for a net loss of 71 yards and had nailed the UNC quarterback for a total of five sacks. At the end of the game, Carolina was dragging its heels. The pack had outrun, outpassed, outplayed, and outscored them to earn North Carolina bragging rights. It was a big year for the pack. State players dominated the conference with seven All-ACC selections.
and made some noise on the national front as two pack players were named All-Americans. LeVar Fisher was also named ACC Defensive Player of the Year. under center, dropping back, cocks the arm, has time, fires the left side, wide open is Peterson at the 10, breaks the tackle, five, touchdown! Everybody, everybody get your roll on. Louder 
as they can see that happening. Two wide outs to the left, one to the right. Quick drop. Rivers going to throw it long left sideline. Caught by Corn Robinson at the 30, the 20, 10, 5, touchdown! You're scared, I'll put away mine. You should practice and work up to it. I stick like cactus when I do it. But it hurts so good, it doesn't matter. That you can't control your bladder. On the mound, girl, I won't frown. And I might go downtown. Your next for Chuck Smooth's done. Six men waste to have sex, choose one. Get in front, on top, or under. Like the bra, I'll make you wonder the deal. I'm not telling, but I'll hunt you like Helen. And munch you like Ellen. Gotta hunt you, start yelling. Who let the dogs out? The game was broadcast on TBS to a national audience. It was the ninth time the Wolfpack was on local or national TV this season. The Wolfpack spotted the Gophers a 24-0 lead with their patented style, a thrilling come-from-behind finish. The Pack came back to dominate the last two quarters. Tough uh, first quarter for Phillip Rivers, the starting quarterback for North Carolina State, our Craig Sager is standing by with his high school coach on the sideline. Oh, thank you very much, Kevin. Well, Steve, we have not seen him struggle all year. He's not played like a freshman. What does he need to do now to get back in sync? Well, he's certainly got to settle down a little bit. He, he made a bad decision on the last interception and threw one kind of across the field in the, into a crowd. And, you know, he knows better than that. But, um, you know, it's a lot of game left. And uh, you know, I think I think he'll, he'll uh, he certainly will want to tone himself. And he's more interested in how he can help his team win this football game. Right now, we're dug a pretty deep hole against a pretty good team. So we... Um, you know, I, I got a lot of confidence in him and this team and his coaching staff, so I, I think they'll respond well. That's the word from the coach now. Steve Rivers is the father. <laughs> First of all, how did Mr. Alabama, who grew up idolizing Notre Dame, end up at NC State? Well, uh, they did a great job recruiting him. Uh, he knew that he had a chance to come in early and have a chance to compete for some playing time, and that was important to him because he graduated early. and, and um, and he came over here for a visit and he came home and he said, Dad, uh, just feels like home. So, you know, he likes home, so he liked this place too. Back. A little pop pass to Ray Robinson. He's got it at the two and he's into the left corner of the end zone. Wow. 
what type of stuff I'm on, you can't puff or slip it, because I was born with it. The broken delic devil hit you with the rap level of 10, the one, two, three, your pen. I get action, so everybody jump, put your rump, if you like the way the sound pump, pump it in your black trunk, and let loose with the juice when I do rock. I'm too hot, some say I got more juice than two pop. Straight out of Jersey. You heard me, my brother, I'm laughing. <laughs> Time for some back, yeah. We're coming inside the 25, you think so? Yep, here they come. And the punt is blocked on the play. And blocked by Brian Williams. And picked up by Jamison, who takes it inside the 20. And down at the Minnesota 19-yard line. And 10 yards to go for North Carolina State. Hand off to Robinson, and the reverse will go to Corin Robinson with the block from the quarterback. And diving inside, touchdown! Pose like Madonna. My mom's kicked me out because I did what I want. The original beef up, chomped up, but chunk of bumps. Then your skull caps, cause my jaw snaps with the raw rap. So color me bad, plus color me black. For the funk that I packed, for that freaking to the funk track. The funk keep fly stuff. Come on and let me kick the funk keep fly. First and ten from their 18 yard line. Rivers going deep and looking for Robinson. Oh! Oh! What a catch made at the 49 yard line! Incredible 33 yard game. Where your eyes at? They on the floor, pick them up while I'm poor. Let me pump down your brain pump. Listen to my name, Trump. Red man, ready to rock. I got a clock in pack. Your body is all over the block. Trying to step to this. The exorcist kick it. I get mad with it when twin pop the biscuit. And Rivers going deep down the side. Another great acrobatic catch by Robinson. He gets by one defender, then another. And running across the field with Leak is a lead blocker. He's out of bounds inside the Minnesota Five. At one point, NC State was down 24 to nothing. Freshman quarterback Philip Rivers was struggling. We put his father and high school coach on the spot, Steve Phillips. We promised we'd come back if we turn things around. How was he able to get his composure, start moving the offense? Well, you know, I, he's a smart kid, and, and he just had to have some more patience. And the defense, really, I think, is what sparked us because uh, they, they stopped him and were able to get the ball. And and uh, the offensive line is giving him some protection. The guys are catching the ball and running with it well. And you know, I, I can tell you, as a dad, you don't ever give up on your son. And as a fan, I've learned not to give up on this team. And as a coach, <laughs> you do not to give up on him as well. That's right. Well, yeah, he's he's uh, he loves this team and this and this coaching staff and and um, this team. You, well, you can see it's a different team than it was the first quarter when we're struggling. We're kind of in a fog and and everybody's uh, playing at the, playing a different level right now. Philip Rivers had a field day against the Gophers, throwing for 310 yards and two touchdowns to win MVP honors. Philip Rivers and the Robinsons led the pack to the first bowl triumph of the Amato era, and the Wolfpack was the only ACC team to win a bowl game. No doubt about it, there are many more to come.